Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So, big question to ask yourself is those two pin bars off structure selling opportunity or buying opportunity? So, um, if you look at it just at a glance like that, we've got this massive cup and handle. Uh, probably see a, a head and shoulders somewhere in here as well, nevertheless, at an angle. You've got a crossover of your oscillators here on the daily as well, pointing to the downside. Yet you've got a daily pin bar here as well, off a level. And that level that we're looking at is 13,0995, or you could round that off to um, 3,100. Uh, again, just coming back to the eight hour, you can see there we had buyers come in, rallied, shock, num uh, shock CPI number coming in and declined so if you look at it from a weekly perspective you've got big green bar big red bar and uh, if you just go look at the S&P charts or look at my S&P video earlier on you will see a big up big down structure of brewing inside there and that's pretty much what look like is happening here on the weekly um, you see a similar kind of structure here on the three hour so big up big down big up big down big up very similar to the S&P this is ranging Guys, this is uh, not something that I want to be trading until we break one of these levels, either this one to the upside or this one to the downside. And we'll look at those now on the hour. There is nothing else that is of any interest to me here. We look at the hour, same scenario. But look at these buyers that are coming in here. Buyers came in right here, then pushed it back, and then more buyers came back in. So this to me is a range it's longer than 20 bars which means there's a 50 50 chance of it going either way normally if it's less than 20 bars then you know you can almost uh, wait for the break to the downside and the retest and then you you pretty much guarantee that the move is going to continue down but for the long longer it goes sideways the less that probability is and it becomes more of a 50 50 scenario so Quite simply, you're looking for a break and retest of 31.314 for any move to the upside. And there's not much resistance to the upside. I think the, the closest bit you're going to get is up here, which is kind of the range height. And it is also the 155 EMA. So that would be a half decent shorting area as well. This is a decent retracement. Uh, that's 31.667, and I'd definitely be looking to short off there for at least a retest of this area. If we get support here again, then that's another buying opportunity. So that's uh, the first setup. The second setup is a break below 3,100, a break retest below that, and then we're looking for a move to the downside. 15-minute uh, chart is the way to go, and if we stay like this today, have no interest in, in this. So I'm looking for a break retest on the 15-minute for a move up, or alternatively, a break and retest for a move down. Your stop area, unfortunately, is a fairly large one. It's 430 points because it can only be above or below this range. So um, that's kind of the risk that you've got. If you just get back to the daily, you've got a rejection here of the 155. You've got, you know, there's so many signals here for a move to the downside. But I'm just very reluctant jumping in short down here. I'd much rather be short higher up off structure. Uh, there's nothing down here that is encouraging me to be short. Uh, even this break and retest here of 3100 is going to have to be very well structured for me to, to look at it. Watch out for this daily gap here because that will hold up price. That's at 37.14. So it's not even a one to one trade to the Arsenal. Not even a one-to-one -one trade to the downside. So, yeah, um, I'm set on hands until I see some some better structure on this. Uh, I'm not convinced we're falling, and I'm not convinced we, we're coming back up either. So uh, we're extremely neutral at the moment. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.